Jason and Vinny with Granny and Craig. Ow! Old Excalibur. Well, since you brought it up, we've got heat with them. <laughs> I was clearly joking when I said they sped up his voice. I had nothing to do with this, Mr. Caliber. <laughs> oh, now you have to apologize. His name is not Excalibur. His first <laughs> yeah. name isn't Xavier. I like Excalibur. He used to be <laughs> yeah. a Caliber. If anything ever happens like AW goes under or whatever, you know they always have those those uh, those commercials about drugs. And they have that guy that reads the list of side effects. Yes. One out there, I, 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 it's potentially lethal taint fungus. <laughs> well, that would certainly be bad. And I am not exaggerating that at all. <laughs> My point is, is they... I they will re- never take this drug under any circumstances. <laughs> potentially lethal taint fungus, lol. <laughs> lol. I hate him. He's fucking worse than Oreo. <laughs> God damn it. What this was, this was an... This this was like, I don't even know how to describe it. That's clear. I've never seen this man talk. I actually was at a show with him, and he was uh, just hanging out with the AW guys watching the GCW show. Mm-hmm. I never saw him talk there either. What if he talks to the Gentleman's Club? You don't need to talk there. Lance Archer versus Serpentico. Who? Who the <laughs> fuck is Serpentico? Archer's a big, strong dude, and he got this tiny little snake up and slammed him down big. Excuse me? I don't know if I've ever seen a match like Jade Cargill and Marina Shapir before. While it wasn't good, I found it fascinating. It was better than expected, and I also hated it. Hey, Granny, we've got a lot of people asking why there's no Granny video tonight. Would you like to explain? I don't know. I just didn't feel like freshening up or whatever you do. (laughs) Freshening up? Have you ever freshened up once for this show, Vinny? I shower every day. What am I missing about Chick-fil-A? Right, it's probably the name. Chick Phil A is is that's why there's a line around the block. I guess maybe it sounds fancy. <laughs> What's so special about Popeyes? It's chicken. Popeyes is bleh. Ah. I I could I could really do without all, all the sass. Oh, I will drive out there and fight you right now. Okay, let's go. Who are your favorite famous Germans? Are there some politicians, actors, etc. you absolutely don't like? You know, I think we should move on to the next question right here. Okay. Friday Night Smackdown, I didn't watch it. Great review. Rusty, Rusty Rose, 10, 4, 86. <laughs> Dusty, is it Rusty or Dusty? <laughs> it's, uh, it's Dusty. Harmon Blanchett. <laughs> okay, out of ring. Her, and, Herman and Blanchett. <laughs> Harwin. <laughs> way back then they had cha- chain barricades. <laughs> And then they had a tag team with Rich Fl- uh, Rick Flair and some more guys. And so that was that. I'm just too- who, who did Rusty Rhodes wrestle? Tatanka versus Peter Weeks. A little overweight, a little flabby, a little chunky. I'm going to get me a singlet. Yeah. But I'm going to make sure the neckline is cut down to the navel. So my gut and boobs are still hanging out everywhere. Every time Peter Weeks started to run, I laughed out loud. I rewound it. I laughed out loud again. Camera's behind Peter Weeks, looking over his shoulder. We can still see his boobs. As God is my witness, he almost got stuck. He hits the ropes, and he just stays there. This match went three minutes. It took me almost 20 minutes to get through because I kept rewinding and laughing over and over and over again. Peter Weeks... You are this week's worst wrestler of all time of the week. <laughs> wow. Yeah, show that picture of Vinny, Jared. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, he's late. We open with a great professional wrestling match. Dax Harwood versus Cash Wheeler. He went out there and they just busted their ass. If you watch this match, do you know how many Bret Hart tributes and Owen Hart tributes were in this match alone? I liked it a lot. And FTR continues to be the hottest act in wrestling right now. Hangman got COVID. Oh. And so uh, they couldn't do an angle. And so instead, they just put a graphic on the screen saying, CM Punk versus Hangman Page at the pay-per-view. And Yuta gets a hot tag. He's in there with Camarado, who is much larger than him. A fact William Regal endorses. He needs to be thrown around by big, strong, horrible men, he says. And I hope the next faction in AEW is the big, strong, horrible men. This fucking sport was built on shitty fucking haircuts. You remember Rock when he debuted? That shitty fucking haircut he had? He looked like he, he had like a plant on his head. The Chia Pet head, yes. And then he cut that off and he just had like a short haircut. 
but it was weird. Hulk, Hulk Hogan, the biggest fucking star. Ben Franklin, yes. He had a horrible haircut. I don't think Bruno San Martino, I don't even know what you'd call his head. MJF does a promo, and he's got a, a secret opponent for, uh, for Wardlow next week. And he's bigger, smarter, taller, whatever. And you can't teach that. That's what he says. And of course, they're uh, you know they're working with Impact and W Morrissey, the former Big Cass, is in Impact. So, I mean, he's coming. Cool Hand Ange addresses the fans as the AEW Galaxy. I cackled. So I don't know if you uh, read or heard Athena's interview. She talked about how the women in NXT were told to get sexier gear. Basically, I don't know if Hikaru Shida got the same lecture. But it appears she went to Fredericks, Fredericks Hollywood, got herself a stripper teddy where the hips are cut up to the boobs, and uh, that was part of her gear, and she thought, well, I'll cover the bottom with Daisy Dukes. It was an absurd outfit for a street fight. Excalibur plugged Rampage. At a very reasonable pace and cadence. Dude, I'm not saying that this is because of us, okay? Because I don't. Because if you watched the show last week... I'm pretty sure we weren't the only two people on the planet to realize how preposterous it was mm -hmm. that he was asked to rattle off nine matches and two talking segments in 46 seconds. So he looks at our Scorpio on the mat, and I believe it was a corkscrew double somersault dive. Here's my, here's my recommendation to Sammy Guevara. Anytime you're high, like up high on a ladder or something. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying, yes. Or high. I mean, anytime you do this and you do, do the circle like you're indicating that you, you're out of your mind... Don't do whatever you're thinking, because you are out of your mind. He thought he hurt his neck and his shoulder, and apparently he's he's feeling a lot better today, but he was hurting on that landing, and I just don't know. Don't do that, dude. The opening segment may well have been the worst segment of any wrestling show I've seen all year. It was certainly not good. I'll say. But I think that you, you get drunk a lot watching this show, and you forget segments. Uh, that's fair. Nikita is not on the same page as Nikita. Lash is not on the same page with herself. They cannot communicate at all. They just start running laps back and forth in the ring. And Nikita throws in the brakes and runs the other direction. And they run past and push each other by. And it goes on. And it's horrible. I've seen way worse matches. They practiced this for a long time. That's pathetic. I thought they, I thought they pulled off 60% of it. Yes, oh, no. Yes, 40% they didn't pull off at all. What bro, a fucking awful show. Bro, watch fucking Raw and SmackDown. No. This shit happens on every fucking show. Are there any baby faces on this show? Go read the Ember Moon interview about her time near the end in NXT when they came up with all these fucking ideas. And she literally says, I had no idea if I was a baby face or a heel. The talent! <sighs> Is there any show, any segment on the show that doesn't suck? Robert Stone's love interest. Oh, yeah. I thought it was another random attractive woman. Nope. That's, um... Literally, this, I'm learning this right now. I'm learning that was a character I've seen on TV many times. Yeah. This show sucks! As I wrote it, the version is smitten with a random attractive woman because he's a lonely, horny loser who blows his wob whenever a woman walks by. He would, like, start one cliche, and then you're, because you're, you know where it's going, because it's a cliche. And, uh, you know, he'd say, like, well, I hope Bob doesn't put all of his eggs in the refrigerator. It was, it was just like the whole thing was these. You are so much more entertaining than he was here. <laughs> I fucking hate NXT. It sucks. It's boring. It pisses me off. Thank God for Roxanne Perez. She's great. She's so good. The lowest rated thing on the show by a lot was that final segment with Joe Gacy. It's a bad show. It makes me angry. It makes me a worse person. It's a negative demerit on my life. <laughs>